Welcome back to another one of these. Are you getting bored of them? Because I sure am. Anyway, F4J. Basically like the one in the American Tech Tree, I believe, except this one has a 20mm revolver cannon in the M61. Instead of the, I believe the American F4J gets a 20mm naval one. Yeah, it doesn't get the same rot rotary cannon. But our one, the F4J, is basically just a clone of the FGR2, I believe. Looks pretty much exactly the same. Same radar, same type of stuff. I don't believe this is an Agile Eagle. It doesn't get the extended wings when you're actually turning it. But it's basically just the exact same as the old FGR2, which we've known and loved for several years now. So, the FGR2 actually gets more countermeasures than this thing. If we look on this thing, we do have a countermeasure thing here. But on the FGR2, we get them on the rear of the missile launchers. I'm not sure why we don't get them on this one. I've no idea why. I would have assumed we do. I believe that these were old American airframes that Britain bought as a stopgap. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But anyway, we do have slightly less powerful engines compared to the FGR2. These only produced 8,160, whereas the FGR2s produce nearly 1,000 kilograms more at 9,030 kilos. This means that the FGR2 has a top speed of 2266, whereas this is 2140. And our climb rate is 185 meters per second, whereas the FGR2 is 210, both of which were with clean wings. When you are carrying weaponry, that is obviously lower. So, it's obviously a worse FGR2, which is a little bit of a disappointment. The FGR2 isn't really that good, to be honest, even now. So, it's a downgrade of an already out of meta jet. But we do have all of the same weapons that we do get on the FGR2. So we'll start with the radar. We do hold, we do have the AN APG-59. I'm not sure what this thing gets. Oh, I guess the same one. We get the same radar as the FGR2. We do get the same gun mounted underneath the belly, the 20mm GAU-4. I believe this is pretty similar to the M61A1. I'm not that sure though, to be honest. So we've got less power. We have better turn rate. I think it's the same. I think the F4J is the same. It's the same hull of the vehicle. That's not. That's not really the right, the right word. It's the same airframe of the vehicle, but with less powerful engines. But we do get CCIP for our cannons, rockets, and bombs, and we do get quite a lot of ordnance. Unfortunately, we don't get any precision guided munitions like Mavericks or like a self-guiding bombs or anything like that. Do you get flows though, as well as pretty nice air rounds for our 20 millimeters. If we go onto our weaponry, it's a little, it's, they're good weapons, but there's not many of them. That's what I'll say. So to start, we have the snebs. These are pretty decent, pretty slow though. 651 meters per second, only 400 mils of penetration. We also have 540 pounders. Again, not the best, but they do the job. You also have 1,000 pounders. I'd take these over the 540s. You can, you can only carry two less of them, but two less bombs isn't really that much, to be honest, and they have a much bigger explosive radius. Also have the GAU-4, which we've already covered. Is that the GAU-4? Yeah. I wonder if these mismodeled that, and that is supposed to be the same as this thing. No, it's different, isn't it? My bad. So my might just have named it wrong anyway back to the weapons so we do have these same old am9gs these are the same missiles that the fgr2 gets as well so it's not really an upgrade most of the other premiums so like the chinese premium here in the tetri this thing this gets pl7s which are a step up from the pl5bs the PL-5Bs are the best missiles that you get for the J-7E. They're arguably the best missile uh, in the game at the minute. So the premium for the Chinese is a step up over their best jet. Whereas the premium for the British is a step down in many ways. Just, just British problems, I suppose. So we do get the AM-9Gs. This is the loadup that I would personally use. Four AM-9Gs. 
They're not the best, but they're certainly not the worst. Do also have the Sky Flash missiles. 25 Gs of overload. They are constant wave, so they are pretty immune to chaff. They've been in the game for ages. You all know how these work. It's basically just going to be, like I said, it's just a copy and paste FGR2 with slightly better engine performance. It'll be pretty decent as a grinder. I don't really see it being game breaking though, to be honest. It's a little bit of a disappointment, to be honest. I would have liked some sort of, maybe a premium GR7 Harry or something like that. Maybe a premium Tornado. Definitely don't buy this fucking thing. But I already have pretty much everything in the British tech tree. It's not really going to affect me. We'll take it out into a quick flight. That's customization. Me, me, tired today. It's been snowing all morning. Pretty tired, to be honest. Had to go and defrost all our cars before they all got up for work, but I'm off on the weekend. So we take off. We've got a nice big field of view on our radar. Oh, shit. What the hell? What the hell is happening? Okay, minor side effects. We do have our game back now. So take off, pull up, put our flaps up. We are good to go. We can switch to our radar mode. Switch to sky flashes. I doubt think we'll be able to get a launch solution here at this range. Our post Doppler mode, well not even in post Doppler, but the radar won't track. We're both moving at relatively the same speed. It'd be quite hard for our radar to actually guide it into a target. Maybe up there? No. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. It's a bit annoying that these flow pods just stay open all the time. Like, they just constantly stay open. It just looks a bit dodgy. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe they'll fix that before it goes live. I doubt it, though, considering Guardian. So even at three kilometers, we still can't get a track. That is an IR missile, isn't it? Where is that other bastard? Let's go with this guy. Get a radar lock on him. Still quite a larger release. Well, these are the same missiles that everyone's already seen before. The sky flashes are nothing new. They're not really that great anymore in the meta. They still do work well, though. They're not as good as the AIM-7Fs. But, can't really hold it against them. So we can slave the AIM-9Gs to our radar. Pretty decent plane though. I think it's going to be largely dead in the current meta. So I would be very suspicious about, well not suspicious, but I would be worried about pre-ordering or buying this vehicle. It is probably going to be the best premium. Well, it's going to be the most efficient premium that Britain gets, but... It doesn't really seem that good in my opinion, especially compared to some of the other premiums you can get for around $70. But yeah, I can't really recommend it. I wouldn't spend $70 of my own money on it, so I sure as shit I'm not recommending you spend yours on it. So anyway boys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.